Alright, so today we're going to be making some of those eyes that you guys saw. Um, bear with me, I never do video tutorials, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, so anyway, this is an ESP32. It is just a pretty standard one. Got this off by Amazon. It, uh, it's a microcontroller. You can program it to do pretty much whatever you want. Um, these are little TFT displays. Uh, they run over SPI. Um, but basically we need to program this with the animated eyes sketch in the Arduino IDE and then wire these guys to this guy and that'll make it work. So to start off, um, open up your Arduino IDE and load up the animated eyes sketch. I've already set mine up to work with this stuff. You can set it up for different screens or whatever. Um, but this is the setup that I have and I'll put links to all that stuff. But basically you just uh, just plug it in, wait for, for your computer to see it, and then make sure you've got your ESP board selected, and then you just uh, upload the sketch. Alright, so it's uploaded. Um, you definitely need to set this thing up inside the Arduino IDE. So you got to make sure you have the right board selected. You've got to make sure that all the proper pinouts are selected. Um, now it does tell you in the, it's got a wiring NO tab that uh, will tell you basically how to set this thing up and where to run the wires to each of the screens. Um, but basically everything gets, you know, power, ground, and then data. So we'll do that next. All right, so now we're just gonna tin all these pads. All right, now the pins that we need to tin on the ESP32. Let's see, twenty-three. I'm just going to go down the list here, kind of in order. So, 23. Uh, 19 doesn't do anything. 18. And 18. Uh, 2 and 4. There's 4. Twenty-two and twenty-one. So there's twenty-two. There's twenty-one. Um, now we're also going to need um, basically power and ground on here. So I'm going to go then. That's your five volt input. And then ground, you can go either this one or this one, but they're just marked ground. And now we get to uh, hook up some wires. I uh, forgot to mention we're going to use the 3.3 volt outlet to power the LED backlights in the displays. We got to tin those up too. We'll just use the ground on the other side. Alright, just gonna wire these up now. One thing I would like to point out is that you'll notice that the orientation on these is different. You can actually set that up in the program for the rotation for each display. Just gives you like a one, two, three, or four value. And that'll rotate the displays. So 
now that we've got these all wired together, they need to get wired to here. Alright, so this is the chip select and that's going to have one pin for this one on here and one pin for this one on here. So that's what we're doing now. Alright, that is everybody. And if we did this right, when we power this thing up, you should see some eyeballs. So let's see. Yeah, they are.